And now, back to the morning beat with Curtis Wright. It's gonna be a cut, cut, morning. A cut, cut, morning meeting. We're gonna have a great time together. I, I, I don't want to be silly. I want to welcome you to rehabilitation. This is one of the very best. Hi, everybody. And I hope this sparks a freaking revolution. Have a good day. Okay, we're back live here on the Big Talker FM. This is the Morning Beat. I'm Curtis Wright. This is our Community Connection segment, bringing folks in who are making southeastern North Carolina a better place. I can't believe it's that time again. It's time for the Halloween Festival at Poplar Grove Plantation. Always a great time. Starts a lot of activity. Starts October 16th, 17th, 18th, and then comes back on the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. With us in studio is David Heck. He's with Poplar Grove Plantation. He's here to talk to us today uh, about some of the uh, unique activities that uh, are part of this year's Halloween Festival. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Curtis. How are you? I wish we were on TV instead of radio. Where's our Kurt cam so we could see you in your full regalia this morning? You're, you're all ready for Halloween. Absolutely. I was born for it. Tell us a little bit about, um, well, about some of the d unique activities this year at the Halloween Festival. Well... We've been running Poplar Grove for about 25 years now, and we have a lot of different things going on. Uh, we've done some changes specifically after dark to the Haunted Hayride and the Haunted House. Uh, we've added a little bit more uh, uh, intrusion into your own comfort zone. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with that. We've brought in some more actors. Normally we have a, a Hoggart High School and Topsail High School come in and help us. We also have some professional actors that are coming into the uh, uh, wagon ride, entertainers, line entertainment. We've got a few surprises along the way. Uh, we also have on the 24th a uh, costume contest that anybody can actually join from babies all the way up to granddads and they can have some fun. Of course, I am not going to be in that contest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always a good time. And I'll be there. I'm the MC this year again and I appreciate uh, uh, Poplar Grove for asking me to come out. It's, it's always a great time. And boy, I'll tell you, you really do see some... Uh, handiwork there in the costumes. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely, sometimes it's just amazing to see what type of work people come into. I mean, they mentioned uh, in past years that we've had giant bananas or even a pregnant woman who had painted her belly, her nine-month pregnant belly with a pumpkin on the front of it. There's a lot of unique things, and kids come out, and they have a lot of good time. And that's one thing I want to say is that the kids really are welcome there during the day and even during the night. We've tried to tune uh, both the daytime activities and the nighttime activities for family-friendly fun. There's nothing too terribly over the top. I'd recommend recommend that the young kids don't go through the haunted house, but we've had kids as young as six go through uh, the haunted hayride, and that's something that's really important to us, that when we actually spot them, we'll take the parents aside, we'll get them to understand what's going to happen so that they can help, and then maybe we'll even sit down next to the kids and we'll talk to them, give them personal protection as our monsters. Mm -hmm. I'm the master of ceremonies. We make sure that no one gets hurt because the children are just too chewy at this age. They're not yeah. tender enough. Now, the hayrides... Are uh, are those on Friday as well? Yes. Uh, okay, because I, uh, on Fridays it is 6 p.m. to midnight. On Saturdays, on the 17th and 24th, it's 2 p.m. to midnight. And on Sundays, which is the 18th and 25th, it's 2 p.m. to uh, 10 p.m. And so the, the haunted hay rides um, are up until it's dark, right? Right. Well, we, we run the... Uh the daytime hay rides from, yep. from 2 to 6, and then once it gets dark, then we start running the, the nighttime haunted hay ride. It runs general till about midnight, okay. except for Sunday. And then uh, the haunted barn uh, starts uh, about, what, 6 p.m. on those uh, evenings? Yes. And uh, there's all kinds of inflatable rides, uh, pony rides, cakewalk, and games. Of course, we talked about the uh, Halloween costume um, contest that uh, takes place, and that's going to be on... The 24th. Th that's right, the 24th. And that's about 6 p.m. <laughs> and all you do is you just show up and you can yep, you show register, up, you register right there. And at 7 o'clock, it's showtime. So tell us, I, I, you know, some more of the other things. There's tarot card readers and I was all kinds yeah, of, we have great things. This is uh, Madam Deborah's 27th year as a tarot, uh, tarot card reader. Uh, she really does a good job. She has a lot of fun with it. And sometimes people are very, very convinced about what she does. Of course, yeah. it's all good fun and games. Yeah. We try to keep it very tongue-in-cheek. Uh, we have a kitty fun house. There's a puppet show. We have storytellers. There's lots of games. Um, we have inflatable rides for the kids. Uh, and there's tons and tons of food. Yes. Lots of greasy food that'll kill you. I love it. I can't get enough of it. And, and of course, it's it's uh, 
it's set at Poplar Grove Plantation on the grounds there, and which is a great setting uh, for this particular festival. As, all, as, as with all of the events that take place out there, it's just a unique environment, and specifically for uh, the Halloween festival. Um, you know, it's just a uh, it's just a good time. I'm going to be out there on the 24th, as I said. So I hope folks will mark this on your calendars. Uh, again, let's w- walk through some of the uh, times here. There's two weekends, October 16th, 17th, and 18th, and then October 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Um, Fridays, uh, 6 to midnight. On Saturdays, 2 p.m. to midnight. And on Sundays, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. So lots of, uh, lots of time for you to stop by and, and take advantage of all these unique activities. And um, it's just going to be a good time. And as you said, there's all kinds of food. Um, and uh, I hope you'll come by also for the uh, 24th when we have the costume, um, the costume contest. Uh, and, again, you don't have to just do anything but just show up in your costume and you can sign up. Okay, great. Thank you. We also have our, we can visit our blog at poplargrowplantation.blogspot.com. We've got some information up there as well as a couple of web commercials in there. Another tongue-in-cheek for the Haunted Hayride. Now, we've got a ton of tickets. I mean, I've got a stack of tickets here we're going to be giving away. Um, to the first uh, three callers that call up right now, I'll give you a set of uh, uh, two, or if you need a set of four family, just give me a call. The first three callers set of two or a set of four tickets just to let Amy know and we'll give those away over the next couple of weeks and we appreciate uh, you also bringing those into us uh, Dave and uh, David Heck again is with Poplar Grove Plantation the Halloween festival it's coming up so mark it on your calendars the weekend of October 16th and 23rd it's just going to be a great time and by the way let's not forget that uh, the haunted house uh, uh, the haunted barn right is raising money for the various um, different organizations Oh yeah, yeah. We we actually are raising uh, uh, for the nonprofit Poplar Grove Foundation, Hogger High School of Latin Club, the Topsail High School Music Department, the New Hanover County Pop Warner Cheerleaders, the Sloop Point Fire Department, and the Hampstead Fire Department. And of course, the uh, sponsors, as always, are Pizza Hut, Encore, Jeff Gordon Chevrolet, uh, Sunny One Hundred Four Point Five, uh, Star News, uh, Port City uh, Java, United Rentals, WWAY News Channel Three and uh, Pup and Play Stay, and, of course, the Big Talker FM. So mark your calendars, October 16th, the weekend of, and October 23rd for the Halloween Festival of Poplar Grove Plantation. Thank you to David Heck for coming in, my friend. Thank you very much, You just have to come out to the Halloween Festival to see his costumes. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much, Curtis. I'm Curtis Wright. This is The Morning Beat. We'll be right back. Stay with us.